All right, uh, Inch 95 here. We got Steve Klaus. He got top 32 at nationals. And uh, yeah, it was an unfortunate loss, but you did really well in Swiss. You went what? Uh, X2 one. X2 one. I had to play you. Sorry. That was the best, actually. So. Totally. Yeah. That was the funnest match of all. <laughs> yep. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is the deck. I played Sylvan's next. Uh, hey, it worked out though, actually. Though. What? It, worked out, it worked out for you, yeah, not, yeah. not for me, but. <laughs> but I played Sylvan's because. Sylvan's because uh, it has the most auto wins, and I want to win every game for f practically free. Uh, Light Sworn did too, but the problem is you have to pretty much open charge or recharge, and if you don't open those cards, you lose, or if they stop your really. There was just too many outs to that deck, so I just stopped playing. I didn't want to play it. Uh, and this deck seemed a lot more consistent because you play so in charity. You don't have to explain their like most of their effects, by the way. Like so, three Hermitry, three Sage Koya, three Marsh Leaf. This card's broken. I'm probably gonna cut it to two. I decided one out a lot actually. Yeah. Three Mushroom. Probably gonna also go to two. Uh, two Carry Bandit. Do you ever need the third? I know Pat was. Pat was uh, Pat. Three. Yeah, Pat, I think Pat was running three. Pat was running three. He was yeah. running one Marsh and two Mushroom out. Yeah. So. Um, I wanted three sometimes, but I felt like the problem with this is that going second, like yeah, two, it's worse. Like... This is way worse going second though. So I, I see the theory behind it. I, I'll have to test it some more again. But when I was testing for Nats, this this was bad because every time I had it in hand, I had to charity and put this card back, and then like you saw now, later on. Yeah, I said it like... too much, and like oh, I would always open it with another play that was just better. Yeah. So two, uh, win condition best card. This card's really good, like it's a staple, you have to run it because yeah. it makes all your plays. People that, uh, apparently Pat didn't run this, but I like this card. I think I'm still just gonna run it regardless. Might as well only hand trap. Um, just makes your gear matchup and a lot of the matchups are good. Two Valor, really broken, really did work. And this this plus Felgrand, like I usually just didn't lose. Or this plus Felgrand. I, I, I main these for this tournament. I was gonna main vanities, but this seemed better because it was at least an upstart and got me somewhere. Uh, I played Blaster, played this card, which wasn't terrible. It was it made more plays, but I think it's just a win more card now. So you I'm, cited it a lot. I cited it a lot, yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm gonna cut it. And then uh, Spore. I think even after this, I'm still gonna run Spore because one fire into Spore or, or discarding for Mount with Spore was always really relevant. And like charging this card is really good. So that was the monsters. It's like it's 27 monsters. Um, I'm probably gonna go down to like 18 monsters. Uh, three win condition. Okay, that's the best card in the deck. Not lone fire. Uh, that. I, I live the dream. <laughs> Every game, live the dream. The dream is this card and <laughs> this card, card and this card. Oh no! Well, this card's fine, but this is real. The real dream. Well, this is all it's your like, dream. It's like you win every time, but yeah. So yeah, three win condition. Three really. Broken card to fix hand. Graceful charity. Or, or as magic players call it, uh, burning storm. Three monster reborns, and people are ignorant and let me just keep it on the field when I synchro. Yeah, and that one guy you played, the one you lost in 32, he fucking spaced. Or, my bad, I cursed. He spaced it. Yeah. And like, anyways, he thought your monster died. Yeah, it was broken. Uh, three mount, and I decided to opt for Book of Moon. I thought this was the best trap card I could run as like a one of. It also acts as a Valor, so like if you have like a Gigant or like another play or like And you can keep it anything, in when you decide yeah, yeah, to like decrease. Like Helio or something, yeah, and it's good with the crease, so like I just felt like this was the best option because I could book, keep it in, I could Valor, and I just didn't want to run a third Valor, I didn't want to run more monsters, so I ran the uh, My side deck, uh, I tested against Vincent Paglia, another guy top. Paglia. Whatever. He, <laughs> he ran Hat, and I couldn't win. Like. An hour before the event, couldn't win. So I was like, "All right, well, I'm just gonna go buy thirty dollars of cards and stop hands and artifact cards." So I ran this over DD Crow because it updates and damage step. If you have, have thirty dollars to spend, buy this one. Uh, Dark Hole is good for every map matchup. This card was the best option for Light Sworn. Played for Gears and Floodgates, Light Sworn and Mermels and Mirror, and with three win conditions versus any set five deck. That was my side. What'd you play in Swiss, by the way? I paid round one, gears, round two, gears, round three, some helmet deck, <laughs> four, I don't remember. I remember getting all the way to the previous day, and I played, I, pretty, I think I played five gears, yeah, five gears, one light sworn. Um, no mirror. No mirror. 
What was the other deck that was really played one water. Oh, one, one water. One water. And one Bujin. I think that was I think that was all my rounds. There was a couple more, but they're all like helmet set five decks that just because I side this and like this deck should beat it every time. Yeah. So yeah. And In then perfect um, world. <laughs> extra deck. Helio, really good, especially when like game two, like when you side this in. I did this once and like hit five back row so that like in case he had space typhoon ever, it wouldn't matter. And then I uh, charged out of hand and set up <laughs> set up a board after uh, using mount fertilizer play. Two Felgran, win condition. You make this card more than anything. I more usually I did. This card was the MVP of the weekend. I found a ruling where like you just put this card on board in defense. You activate any card to excavate, and you can you can wing blast during their turn. Um, as long as that's material. Right? Yeah, as long as that material. Yeah, and then or, and then when it doesn't have material, you just soul charge it back and just like or like miracle it back, call a name. You just I, keep calling whatever you yeah, want to draw. Yeah, I, I like I knew I knew my next card was a soul charge because of the stack, and I had no way of getting to it because he killed my killed my hermitry. So I miracled this card back. Call soul charge. I called soul charge, yep. added it, played soul charge, brought up four guards, and won the game because I was able to do that. And he got the he was just like salty as fuck. <laughs> so that card, this card I played because it's broken and against Gears, actually made it to win game one against you before we tied. <laughs> uh, Super Juvenation, Draco, the guy, Slice of Armor. I, I, did, I played Light Storms once and it was an Roberto and he, he, never, played Mac, he, never, he never played Max E, but, so I never made it and I because I didn't play any other ones. but. You like if you can make it in a deck. I feel like when light turns out now, you just you play this card. And the card you actually added in. Yeah, added in colossal. I decided to run this over Crimson Blader because the mirror. And I thought Valor, Valor and Skilldrain would be pretty more prevalent. So I ran this. Uh, scrap. You ever Stardust. missed the Blader? No. No, never no. It, it. it never came up when a mirror like or water like. I don't think there was a time where I had because like you have to open. Uh, like you have to open, you have to, the, you have to open marsh a way of stacking cherub or having cherub randomly on top of deck. A marsh leaf and a sage in hand to make to make the play, uh, and then make blader, uh, make uh, felgren turn game uh, main phase two. So it you never make, came up. It just you never make came it up against that deck with the uh, marsh plan. Yeah, 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 you could do I mean, it too, but you have to like that's like a five card combo that was really annoying. That's three. Um, <laughs> Spark dragon. Uh, Black Cross and Army Arm. You have you to ever run, Army Arm anyone? Uh, you have to run this card because it makes free rank eights, and I did it. I did it like four no, times. But did you? Uh, did you? Do yeah, the, I, I the actually. Burn play? I, or like when you crash your own I, stuff. I equipped this in time to a guy. Uh, to uh, what was it? What was the guy? Oh yeah, this guy. He had no attachments, and I just had it in time. And he was like, "Well, I guess I lose." He had a Rhapsody. Some. Gigant, and I just went attack and time one because of it. I was able to just us to make it. It was really good. So yeah, that's my deck list. And we're gonna probably be in Ohio, and it's gonna probably change a ton. Yeah, the the extra deck probably is not gonna change. I don't think it's gonna change a single card, unless I stop seeing lights on. Then I'll just I'll, I'll probably just run the blader because. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anything else you want to say or random stuff? No, that's about it. All right, congrats All right. on your top. Thanks.